previously on Sailing Catalpa. We get our starter motor back, have a big storm hit our anchorage, stitch up a friend's toe, and head to a safe anchorage to fix Catalpa's bow. The damage from the storm was on our bow. Lee has prepped it all up and it's now ready to fix. So, after the storm the other day, this was just, had 20 tonne on it with 60 knots of wind and we lost our springer, so it was just jerking on the chain. There must have been the slightest bit of movement there and it just cracked the top layer. Um, I've cleaned it up yesterday. This was actually just all silicon anyway, they must have had it as a bit of expansion. And um, I've etched back into that. That's the original hull which is fine. So I'm just going to put a top coat over this. Of uh, mega epoxy, then I'm going to stick, say, a 10 mil bead straight down here, right around it, to allow for any movement if we get rough weather again. And hopefully, the um, 10 mil bead of sicker will take up the expansion so it doesn't crack and fall off again. I uh, don't know if that's what you meant to do, but that's getting done. A hollow under here, it hasn't got any packing under this nose cone. So any movement on it, so I'm going to pack a bit under here and also put our expansion joint so if it, if it does move it shouldn't be too much movement because I don't really want any movement on all those bolts anyway. So yep, mega epoxy, I'll prime it, paint it, sicker flex expansion, job done. Dada, <laughs> short tail. Long tail. So Taz just reckons he's seen a tail. If there is crocodiles on this island, which they say there is, this is where they would we're be. in the main creek. So we're just going to get this done as quick as possible and get out of this creek. I don't really want to get bitten by a crocodile. Today is pizza. Pretty low on ingredients to put on the pizza, but it's alright. Okay, so this is the first coat. I've just put the mega epoxy on there. It's rough just to get the shape of the boat because it's about 20 mil thick at the front here at the nose. So I've done that, left a gap through here. I'll clean that up on the next coat, so that's going to be a, a um, sicker joint through there and I'll paint over both. And so if that nose cone moves now it won't crack away any of this, nor the paint, hopefully. And if it does it'll just be a little bit on the sicker flex where it is. So we'll see how we go. One more coat and see what it looks like. I'll get rid of this. Chase my springer there. I don't know if we need it for the anchor or not. Comment below if we need this. <laughs> Lee's gonna uh, take Lee, it off. It's a matter of if the anchor comes up and doesn't hit the boat. Keeps the anchor away from the boat, but it's the springer comes through here and chafes on this. Crocodile. And the forces are even extended further out, which I wanted to bring the forces back. <laughs> Let the force be with you. <laughs> been taken by a crocodile yet. But tomorrow and then I can't really muck around too much longer. Just feel like I'm getting stalked. It's not the crocodile. I need a it's um... a creepy lady with a camera. So Lee was also doing a little patch on the other side right in the waterline and it was just a little bit too close to the water so he set up this contraption to put a bit more weight over this side and it worked. Hey babe. Clever. I offered to hang out there, but he, he reckoned it was a bit, bit crocky. A few little patches like that one. But this was our, our major fix-up. 
the big one. So. Oh, you've done a good job. That's it's only had two coats. Beautiful. I've got no real compounds to fare it all nicely, but. Um, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that'll do. Perfection. Left like a 10 mil gap here, so that'll get silicon. Straight through there. So, if any of that moves. So we've got the finished result. They're good. Ta da! Ready to roll again. We're off. Woo! Let's go. So this morning we're going to leave our safe little haven and uh, we're going to head to Kupang. Restock and then head up to Flores uh, Alor. Craig's in here to get some work done. Lee not only did the nose of the boat but he went out and around and did patch a few bubbles that we had. Especially around the waterline because it's so still in here. So that was good. So we're just going to take the cover down, put the tender up and Head off. How good are you? Have you got no bubbles? She's looking good. My boat works for a while. Let's go have some fun. Oh, I hope so. Let's get out of this water. Day three. Croc's got to be hungry. It's about eight o'clock and we're just pulling anchor. It was a short sail to Kupang, 35 nautical miles. We arrived back in Kupang, uh, we've anchored up. We're hoping only to be here for a day tomorrow, get some provisions and head to Alor. Kupang, um, we've got to really get in and out of here quickly because storms are coming through here. Um, yeah, we're just going to get a bit of, bit of fuel, um, get to the supermarkets, get some nibblies for Christmas, hopefully find just the markets to get some uh, fruit and veg. We head ashore and met a guy named Aob, who helped us by taking us to all the places we needed to go. A cheap and easy way to get around Kupang is using BMOs. They are small vans with pumping music and a kid or a guy hanging off the side collecting money. It costs us about a dollar twenty per trip for all of us to get around. That's fresh. Fresh, yeah. fresh fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Look, I see. After doing our shopping and getting fuel, we asked Aab about our visas and doing them early so we didn't have to worry when our visas ran out. We found out that it would be easy to extend our visas in Kupang, so we decided to stay a little longer and get sorted. <laughs> What do you reckon, Belle? More BMOs and buying fireworks. What'd you get? I got these. What do you do? So, what you do? But you look, grab it by the end and throw it as hard as you can on the floor. Not at me. What? Go. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Do it. Go, bang it to the ground. Okay. <laughs> Finding internet and the kids surprise Lee with a guitar for Christmas. This was a regular occurrence. Photos with the boules or tourists. Us. Checking out the night markets. Then off to Immigracy to extend our visas. 
And thank goodness we did. We found out that where we were going and planning on extending, we couldn't. We arrived at Immigracy with our sponsor, Aob. Luckily, Aob had a friend who just happened to be at Immigracy that helped us with the process. Waiting, waiting, and... So we're finally done. We got our visas extended and uh, we can head off. Gussing payment. They've helped us all day. After agreeing on a price, we were on our way back to Catalpa. is about 130 nautical miles from Kupang. last night at nine thinking I was uh, having first sleep and waiting for Lee to wake me up and I just woke up and it's about 5, 5.30 in the morning so uh, our beautiful captain has been on night shift, has been on shift all night and um, yeah I just really really appreciate it because I enjoyed my sleep last night and I actually didn't feel too well yesterday so he's a sweetie. So how was the night, my love? Um, cold, tired, I feel like a prune. Very wet. Yeah, you said that was the most like rain you've seen, eh? Hey? No wind. Probably about a 25 hour passage from Gupang. So we Are you ready for sleep? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make him beans on toast to warm him up. Up to close where we're going to anchor, or not close, but we're going through this passage. I don't know what it's called, but we're expecting really, really strong current against us, and we're pleasantly surprised that it's going with us, so hopefully it doesn't turn around. 
but we're doing about seven knots, which is real nice. Them beans. Oh, they're nice and warm. This was torture, being so close to where we were going to anchor, but moving so slow. It was taking forever. The microphones know how to do it. Yesterday, and we had a pretty long sail. I think it was 26 hours from Kupang. Uh, Lee didn't sleep the whole entire time, so he was a bit wrecked yesterday when we got here. A run of bad things happened yesterday. Uh, I dropped my phone, so I don't have a phone anymore. And uh, filling up the diesel tanks and I thought the valve was shut and it wasn't. I spilled diesel everywhere. To clean up the diesel I hooked myself uh, with a lure in the finger. It was one of those days. So that was yesterday. Today we woke up this morning and Nali went up top and, and he just found poo. So that we think there's a rat that's been, I don't know, it got on the boat from either Kupang or it's got on the boat here. I haven't seen any on inside the boat, so we're thinking it's just up the top on the deck. So at this point, the only way it could have got in was through the anchor locker, and if it's if that's the case, it'd still be in there. And it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hoping we can find this damn visitor that has decided to come aboard Catalpa. You're not welcome. <laughs> you are very not welcome. And uh, we'll let's see what happens. We will let you know. But we need to go ashore and get some more fuel because we mowed it all the way from Coupang. So we're just leaving where we anchored last night. Uh, we anchored that bay around just from the town. But we're gonna go refuel in the town. So anchor around closer to Alor. And get away from the damn rat. We didn't find it, so we're hoping he came on board, had a look around and jumped back in the water and got off. So big, massive, I reckon, big water rat. Yeah, well he's not welcome. Tirak Salamaditang. It's the 24th of December. It's Christmas Eve here on Catalpa. Earlier this afternoon, I especially had a bit of a moment where I'm really missing our family and friends. Yeah, but I'm okay now. I had a moment and it's sure? past. It's okay. <laughs> Lee's gonna make me cry. I've already cried. Everything's kind of spiraled into a bit of a me freaking out about not being home for Christmas. We aren't at a tropical island, so it's kind yeah. of, I think, a bit harder. Everyone oh, tells us. No. First okay. world problems. <laughs> I need the ocean, so we're hoping to find the ocean tomorrow. Just found today a little bit too much. But it's all good change. now. Cheers. Talk Merry good. Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas Eve. Santa Claus is coming to town. So we're just anchored outside of, uh, just off Alor, the town. And um, it's Christmas Eve and there's fireworks going off everywhere on shore. But um, currently they're letting off flares. So Lee has some old flares and um, 
think he's gonna let one rip. Oh, hold on. Can you see? Oh, wait, let me light this up for you. <laughs> see it out that way? <laughs> Woo! Merry Christmas, the So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa to see how we celebrate Christmas and head off in search for some places to dive. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more of our videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you want, give us a thumbs up. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all